Well, welcome to this UK drug testing and value med medical supply combined video demonstrating the DSD 877. This is a saliva drug test screening for six drugs plus alcohol and this is the foil packaging. It's standard all test branding that you'll be familiar with all the CE certification marks along there with the lot batch numbers and expiry dates when we're filming this test obviously. Now this test screens for opiates, amphetamine, methadone, cocaine, benzodiazepines, cannabis and saliva alcohol. What's in the foil when you open it? Well this is what you get. Foil pouch of desiccant. This is what keeps the test in dry condition throughout its storage. So that you dispose of once you're ready to do the test and you only open the foil just before you're ready to test. And inside you get the barrel with the foil or paper cover over the results window. Also gives you demonstration examples of positive and negative results. And this is the swab that you collect the saliva with. They will be in these little clear bags. And I'm just gonna take this one out to demonstrate it for you. The sponge on the stick is completely rigid and firm. There's no movement in that, it's very solid. But when you've collected sufficient saliva, using this device, then that will be completely saturated and soft and squishy. Now, it is very important that this is not just saturated in saliva passively in the mouth. Once the swab starts to soften, it's important to work it around the mouth completely, collecting any residue, particularly of cannabis, because the saliva swab test will only screen for parent cannabis still deposited around the oral cavity from exposure. So when it is soft and has been in the mouth for around one to two minutes, you ask the candidate to move the swab in between the teeth and the cheeks, above and below, front and back, both top and bottom teeth, and then around the oral cavity gently, under the tongue, over the tongue, and then to completely saturate it, it's going to take approximately five minutes to completely get an adequate sample. But it is absolutely critical, particularly if you're going to accurately detect cannabis, that this swab is moved very, very well around the oral cavity. So let's saturate this swab and then we'll demonstrate how to run the test and how to read the results. Okay, after five minutes working this around the mouth, and the best simple instruction to give the candidate is to pretend that they're brushing their teeth very gently using this device as opposed to a toothbrush and that should get any residues of cannabis onto the actual membrane but after that period the sponge will be soft and mobile it's well adhered onto the central core and then all you have to do to start running the test with your timer going now is to screw this down into the body of the barrel and that has started to run the test. Now at that stage you can decide whether you want with the candidate that you've taken the sample from to let them see the results developing or not. But this cover here, I'm going to remove it now, but it can be removed after the candidate has left the sample location. You'll see this pink dye starting to come up from the base. It is very important that this device is left in an upright position on a flat surface for the full development time. That is to ensure that the drug test strips that are embedded around the periphery of this barrel all come into contact with the saliva that has been discharged by screwing the swab down into the base of this device. Now we're going to leave this for the specified read time and then we're going to run you through how to interpret the results you will also need an alcohol colour card, which will have been supplied with this test for you to read the alcohol level, the relevant blood level that this test has detected by measuring the saliva sample. So we'll come back 10 minutes and show you the results. Well, here we are at 10 minutes and we're going to show you how to interpret the results. The colour card that will be provided with the test has seven parameters on it. The only one you're interested in for the um, saliva drug testing is the alcohol colour chart. And you're basically comparing any colour change on the alcohol pad against this chart, which will give you, depending on how blue the pad has changed, 
the relative alcohol blood concentration. This one's negative. And then you're looking at the drug test results along each of the six membranes. The coding is at the top of the strip. So THC, obviously cannabis, BZO, benzodiazepines, COC, cocaine, MTD, methadone, AMP, amphetamine, and OPI is all opiates. And you're looking for the presence of a control line on all six of those, which we've got, and then the presence or absence of a test line. And we've got test lines showing against all six, meaning this is a completely negative result. If there's no control lines, then inadequate sample has been added and the test needs to be repeated. If there is no test line showing at the corresponding or correct read time with a clear control line showing, that indicates that the drug has been detected in the sample at or above the concentration cutoff for that membrane. And that's it. Negative tests, if they're all coming up negative, with this test can be interpreted from around three to four minutes. But the alcohol test pad you should read at the specified read time as per the manufacturer on all occasions. The key points to getting accurate detection with this swab test is the swabbing of the mouth. And it's critical that a really good sample is collected from all areas of the mouth. And as I said earlier, asking the donor to effectively brush their teeth using the swab on the stick in a gentle manner is the best and easiest way to get across to them what you want to do in terms of moving this completely around the mouth. And then you can just ask them for the last two or three minutes to saturate the swab in saliva using their tongue in the base of the mouth. Thanks for watching.